I am a Philippine, inheritor of a flourishing plant, hostage to the uncertain future. As such, I am proved equal to a two-fold task, the task of leading my responsibility to the past, and the task of performing of my obligation to the future. I sprang from a hardy race, child of a generation to know of ancient Malayan pioneers. Across the centuries, the memory comes rushing back to me. Of brown-skinned men putting out the cruising ships that were as frail as their heart would sound. Over the sea, I see them come, borne upon the billowing waves and the whistling wind, carrying upon the mighty swell. Hope in the free abundance of new land that was to be there for their children forever. This is the land they sought and found, every inch of soil that their eyes were set upon. Every hill and mountain that beckoned to them with the green and purple invitation. Every mark of the rolling thing that stirred you in compass. Every river and lake that promised a plentiful reaping and the fruitfulness of commerce. Hallowed spotting by the strength of their hearts and hands, for every right of law, human and divine. This land and all appurtenances stir up the black and virgin soil, the seas, lakes, and rivers steaming with fish, the forests with their inestimable wealth in white light and deep, the mountains with their bowels swollen with wind. The whole of this rich and happy land has been for centuries without number, the land of my father. This land I received in trust from them, and I trust will pass it to my and so on, until the world is no more. I am a Philippine. My blood wants the immortal seed of news. Seed that flowered down the centuries in deeds of courage and demand. In my veins, yet pulses the same hot blood. I sent Lapu Lapu to battle against the first invader of his land. That nerve Lagandola in the combat against the alien. That drove Jesus Silang and the Gohol into rebellion against the foreign oppressor. That seed is immortal. It is the self same seed that flowered in the heart of a Sarasal that morning in Bagumbaya when Valley of Shot put an end to all that was mortal made his spirit deathless forever. The same that flowered in the heart of Bilbasho in Balintra, of Gregorio del Pilar at Tirasa, of Antonio Lunat Calumpit that bloomed in flower of frustration in the sad heart. Aguinaldo at Palano, and yet first worked royally again in the broad heart of Manuel L. Quezon when he stood at last on the threshold of ancient Malacanian Palace in the symbolic act of possession and racial vindication. The seed I bear with me is an immortal seed. It is the mark of my man, the symbol of dignity as a human being. Like the seed that were once buried in the tomb of the Tankaman many thousand years ago, that shall grow and flower and bear fruit again. It is the insignia of my reward, and my generation is but a stage in the unending search of my people for freedom and happiness. Filipinos are not a kind of Spanish. In fact, check out our Philippine heroes. I'm Lapu Lapu, machete na guapo, bold and a king, so they call me Datu. Who is that I see talking to our fellow tribesmen? Ferdinand Magellan and his men from Spain, teaching the religion Catholic Roman. I'm now like a Spanish. Do your peace again. Turn the white war on Ferdinand's men. Let's kill him with our weapons here in Mactan. Jose brought Castro Rizal, Mercado y Alonso Real on that. Jose Rizal, almost four centuries still ruled by the Spanish. We're executing you. Cause I'm Antonio. You're no limit, Angel. Filipo Steris, 
små poms Kastar rebellien against Spain Oops, did I start a Spanish revolution? Ready! Konsumatum est Aim! We are the revolution